Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the concept of high availability. So high availability is the ability for your service to remain available by ensuring there is no single point of failure and or to ensure a certain level of performance. So here I have a technical architectural diagram that is describing high availability. So the idea behind this is that if you have a server which runs your web application, if you were to run redundant versions of your server, if anything happened to a single server, traffic would always be routed to those other servers, and that would allow your service to remain available. Now, having multiple servers is great, but what's even better is having multiple servers in multiple data centers because something could happen to a data center. It could become unavailable because of the networking issue. So by being able to route traffic to those servers, you're going to remain highly available. Running a workload across multiple availability zones, and availability zones is what Azure calls their data centers, ensures that if one or two data center becomes unavailable, your service will remain available. It's very, very common to run at least three servers across three data centers. Now, how would you distribute the traffic or manage the traffic to all three? Well, that's where an Azure load balancer comes into play represented as a green diamond with the arrows. That is the representation of a load balancer. So a load balancer allows you to evenly distribute traffic to multiple servers in one or more data centers. And if a data center or server becomes unavailable, so unhealthy, the load balancer will route the traffic to only available data centers with servers. So there you go. That is high availability.